Yeah, we're definitely not just launching one product. This is this is a family, right? So we've got S10, S119, the uh, companion subwoofer, the E-Rack, which is a unified racking solution now for Adamson. Blueprint AV uh, is also an integral piece of that. And really, they all work together seamlessly. Designing a two-way cabinet has always been a challenge for any manufacturer because the cross region between the low and the highs is still really critical. With so the S10, we achieve a new level of performance. The fact that it's a two-way cabinet makes the package more cost-effective because it requires less amplification and processing. Today, we're at a show in Berlin, somewhere between 3,500 and 4,000 capacity menu. And there is one amp rack each side for the entire PA. This product has incredible definition and using 10 inches instead of 8 inches for this kind of boxes, you got the bottom end that you can expect from a big system. We know about the strength of the meat of, of Adamson since the Y series, you know. But the most surprising thing was to get this punch and energy in the lows with that dimension of speaker. Because I, was, I wasn't expecting being able to work on bass or toms or the low of the snare like this. But with this uh, new S10, the strength of this low is incredible. We're using patent pending technology. It's called controlled summation technology. The 10 inch drivers are actually recessed a little bit behind uh, the high frequency waveguide. And then they are somewhat tilted, but not inwards as you would find that in, in previous designs, they're actually outward tilted. In order to, to make all this work, we're using linear phase crossovers between the low frequency and the high frequency section uh, with a frequency overlap between the two. The four inch compression driver bring less distortion, more output and more clarity, which is the signature from Adamson product. When you use the S10 as an outfill for an energy PA or as a downfill because it can be used uh, under the 15 or the 12, uh, yeah, you keep the same sonic characteristics. The rigging is based on ID coming from the E12, E15 rigging. You can preset the angle when the box remains on the dolly. Setting the angles is really straightforward. Blueprint gives you one of the positions. In case of the S10, they can range from zero to eight. You then move the slider to find that position and you pin it with the corresponding hole here on the right side. For the S10 system, we wanted a versatile, easy to use subwoofer cabinet. It uses the same rigging system as the S10, so you can fly it. It can be configured either in omnidirectional uh, setups or carded mode. The sub is just as versatile as the top cabinet. It's absolutely fantastic having so much headroom because when you want to do dynamic intention and really give something, you can do it. And it's your dynamic or your intention is just not stopped by you know, a processing thing or the PA which can't do it, you know. In Paris, the, the, the promoter told me it's the best sound he ever. He was, he was amazed. With this box, we get a cabinet, almost the same footprint, the same weight, the same price point. Actually, a pretty competitive price point if you, if you look at the competition, as compared to many dual 8-inch systems these days, but with a significantly higher output and performance. Yeah, you can't compare. Absolutely not. It's easy for me to tell because, as I told you, since a month, uh, six weeks we are away with archive, without PA. So I had all of them so with the same show, with my desk. What we're doing is always to try and build stuff that performs better than other stuff. That's why people like this gear and why they want to use it. And that's why, yet being significantly smaller than some other manufacturers, we still do exist because there are people out there who think that superior audio quality actually does matter. Try it. Try it once. Go to a venue you know, with a band you know, and try it once. I'm sure of what I'm saying. <laughs> so easy. Just try it.